um, a portion of a poem entitled Virtuous Verses about the virtues of the Quran. <coughs> Virtuous verses, miraculous signs, magnificent melodies, majestic rhymes, timeless lessons in every line, parables so powerful they boggle the mind. Place the book before you and follow behind and it will lead you to paradise one verse at a time. But if you place it behind you and turn away from his signs, it will drive you into the fire and you'll be raised up blind. They say it is the greatest revelation revealed throughout time. It is the greatest miracle ever witnessed by mankind. Its language is the Arabic language, the clearest of all tongues. And it was revealed in the best two places under the sun. The noblest month is when Allah chose to send it down. And if it were revealed upon a mountain, it would have crumbled to the ground. No night is more blessed than the night it was revealed. And who better to bring it down than the angel Jibril? From the trustworthy in the heavens to the trustworthy in the earth, none better than our prophet in the whole universe. When the world had turned cold, his corners wretched and dark, and everything seemed ready for revelation to start, Allah cast his light into the most blessed of hearts because the heart to the body is the most blessed of parts. According to Allah in his book, there was never a better nation and the companions of the Prophet ﷺ were the best generation. The Quran, the Quran for those who understand, hands down the greatest favor ever bestowed upon man. The best of the best in the sight of Allah are those who learn it and teach it. They are the people of Allah, and by Allah, they are distinguished. For every letter they recite, the angels write 10 good deeds, and a double reward is recorded for those who struggle to read. The companion of the Quran will be commanded, recite and rise, and their station in heaven will be at the last verse they memorize. The best of its reciters are in the company of righteous noble scribes in the highest of heavens with angels surrounded on all sides. The memorizer will be crowned in a crown of honor and draped in a garment of honor, and a crown will be placed on the head of his believing mother and father. Its light will be bright just like the light of the sun, because they taught their children to recite while they were young. Virtuous verses, miraculous signs, magnificent melodies, majestic rhymes, timeless lessons in every line, parables so powerful they boggle the mind. Place the book before you and follow behind, and it will lead you to paradise one verse at a time. But if you place it behind you and turn away from his signs, it will drive you into the fire, and you'll be raised up blind. Right. <laughs> okay, so the second poem is a, <laughs> it's gonna be three minutes, inshallah. It's by the Sheikh's request. So if you don't like it, right? <laughs> if you don't like it, I know some good imams out in uh, New Jersey. <laughs> no, alhamdulillah. It's entitled Too Fast. I have not prayed the same since you passed. I have not felt the same faith that I used to have. I have not rejoiced or smiled or even laughed the way that I used to when I was in your grasp. I feel in your absence that I've been split in half and left to bleed like an open scab with no one there to close the gash, left to wander alone down this rigid path. I try to keep you with me in both memory and mass, but it is the nature of man that he forgets too fast. He forgets to pray. 
He forgets too fast, slow with mercy and quick with wrath. His tongue is whip and lash, and his temper is trespassing the tip of a tilted glass, constantly tempted by the devil to slip and crash. I used to sip on silence and seek asylum from gin and naz and store up taqwa until it filled my bag. Now the best provision is just the remnants of a distant past. Was I really righteous spending my nights with you like Etikaf? Or was I only acting with my soul collapsing behind an empty mask? Our time together was too fast. You were here, then gone in the quickest flash. What a beautiful guest. And you, I found myself truly blessed, but it didn't last. As soon as you left, I turned right back to my wretched past. How many times you've come and gone, though your effects were meant to last. Yet I don't know if I'm any better this year than I was the last. Ramadan, I have not prayed the same since you passed. I have not felt the same faith that I used to have. I have not rejoiced to smile, to even laugh the way that I used to when I was in your grasp. I feel in your absence that I've been split in half and left to bleed like an open scab with no one there to close the gash, left to wander alone down this rigid path. I try to keep you with me in both memory and mass, but it is the nature of man that he forgets too fast. بارك الله فيكم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك وأشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت وأستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم